more often than not, you will find that a doctor's children are doctors, lawyer's children are lawyers, and actor's children actors. We live in a society that expects parents to pass on their legacy to their kids. And it is expected that the kids take on that legacy and make it reach new heights. Seeing this around, and this being regularly discussed in the family, made me believe that even I'd be forced to join the family business. However, the winter of 2009 was the game changer. My dad and I took a trip to London, or as he dubs it, our second home. This was a memorable trip for me. Yes, because of its fun parts. But it was also a life-defining point for me for two reasons. A. I was surrounded by new people, unfamiliar people, and I had to adapt. And B. A friend named Michael changed my life. Michael's dad, or as I call him, granddad, was a DJ at Central London's prestigious, one of Central London's most prestigious clubs. Naturally, I thought Michael would follow his father's footsteps and make a career out of music. But I was surprised to know that he wanted to become a psychologist. This was an unusual occurrence for me, mostly because I did not see this here in India. After coming back, I started visiting my dad's office quite often. And during one such visit, I was subconsciously helping him in one of his presentations. I did not understand the complexities of the software or how the program ran, but I understood the business logic. In that moment, I found self-belief and my inability to solve and understand critical business issues. I understood that software is just, is just a mere tool that helps in increasing productivity, whereas my skills lie in innovation and creative thinking, skills required by the entrepreneurs to solve tomorrow's problems. Now, don't get me wrong. Using technology and using software to shape and create tomorrow's world was still my choice of career. So naturally, I had to take computer science as one of my A-level subjects. But it was during these subjects that I realized that I was not a great programmer. Even my friends emphasized at various points about how I was not a great programmer. I was heartbroken. I was dejected at first. But then, after a few career counseling sessions, I was advised to read books. So I made friends with Elon Musk, Bill Gates, and Steve Jobs, my idols. I found a similar trait in myself as I read in them. They were all solution finders. I evolved from a person who was chasing jobs to a person who wants to be a future entrepreneur someday. I want to change the world as you know it. Thank you.